The move to Europort was first reported by GBC last November. This morning, designs were unveiled by the Chief Minister and Health Minister. Well, Jonathan, it's a very exciting announcement. As you know, this has been very much uh, in the works for quite some time. We have announced what we think is an excellent new primary care centre facility and also a paediatric hub. The paediatric hub is a manifesto commitment of the government and we are confident that the crossover to the new premises will take place in the first half of next year. The new primary care centre will be built behind the existing St Bernard's Hospital. Government ministers and top GHA officials believe that co-location will present more opportunities than it will challenges. I think, in fact, that the move next to the hospital will bring a whole series of advantages. You will have heard me say many times before that the aim of the GHA is to repatriate as many services as possible, to repatriate services for primary, secondary and tertiary care. To have the primary care centre and the paediatric hub next to the hospital will provide seamless synergies in respect of the services that they respectively provide. A number of them will include areas which are in the control of the government. The Chief Minister said he thinks parking will become easier at the new location. And to have an integrated paediatric hub where you're able to have the different uh, specialisms that children uh, receive in the PCC currently to be able to be received in a new paediatric hub that combines primary and secondary outpatient services but which is right next to the hospital in the event that the services required to be provided at the hospital is I think as I said a huge advantage. We have currently a, a primary care centre which we are trying to adapt into, we're trying to fit into but is really not designed for our needs. Uh, so we are now moving into a modern and new and bespoke uh, facility that is really designed about and around what we need, what we require, what the conditions require to deliver good primary care. Um, additionally with that we are, we are moving so that we can have GP clinics primarily which are not working in isolation. They're working much more closely with the nursing clinics, they're much in, working much more closely with the administration um, and all the specialist services that go with the core which is the GP clinic. So the idea behind the new primary care centre is to bring everything into uh, building and into a design where everything is literally on the doorstep of everything else. So that's the, the main essence of it. Is this a, a, a brand new building or is this retrofitting an existing building? No, this is brand spanking new. So this is really bespoke, designed around what we need, designed around the clinicians uh, needs to provide better primary care and actually designed also around our need to uh, future proof and expand our services. Modern healthcare is changing all the time. We see services that we would like to introduce services as the minister said that we would like to repatriate and at the moment in the existing primary care centre we have very little space to do that. We have the desire to do it but we don't have the space, the logistics to do it. How will the new area compare to the existing area? The comparison is uh, perhaps even maybe another four or five hundred square metres. Now on the surface that might seem like not very much but a lot of the space that we have in our current uh, building is not usable space it's corridor space it's space that's uh, that's essentially wasted and not designed around clinics and clinical services so the new uh, this new building will will integrate better so that clinics will be closer to each other there'll be more usable space there'll be less corridor and wasted space much more space dedicated to clinical services uh, against the backdrop of uh, rising recurrent expenditure at the GHA, will this move represent value for money? I think we've actually achieved tremendous value for money. Although the financial details have not yet uh, been made clear, the way that this will work is that the developer will in fact pay for the new PCC and the paediatric hub and the government will then pay a rent once the premises are handed over to the government. We have spent, since I became the Minister for Health, negotiating the prices on the rent for both premises and I think we have obtained the best value for money for the taxpayer and of course in addition the government will also be spending money on certain capital uh, works that are required in order to be able to bring the new PCC and the new paediatric hub next to the hospital. Um, it's been a long time coming, but things uh, well planned usually are. Fabian Picardo said the move will be game-changing. Doing so without interrupting services will take months of planning.
primary care is the day-to-day -day health care provided by the GHA. And for years now, people needing to see a health professional have come here to the ICC, the International Commercial Centre, for their first contact. Well, that's set to change in 2019.